Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. Today is May the 5th of 2023. I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today that I hope will encourage you and bless you as you listen to it. This word today, once again, is quite lengthy, and so I won't go into a lengthy introduction. But I will say the Lord is once again wanting to get our attention regarding the times we are living in and to know that the events taking place round about us are those that must take place at the culmination of the age. And so this word today is another preparatory word for God's people and for those who don't know the Lord to recognize that the Lord is calling them and giving opportunity for them to be saved before the times of the Great Tribulation. This word today is titled, Wake Up Call. I'll begin by reading scripture. John 5, verse 24. Very truly, I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged, but has crossed over from death to life. This scripture verse makes clear the way to be saved. I'll begin reading this word. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through him. Hear the word of the Lord. Receive his instruction and live. Today is the day of salvation. If you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Come into his presence with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. Rejoice in your king, for he is coming, and he will do everything he said he would do. This is the day, and this is the hour of the Son of God coming to his people, to those who have put their trust in him and have not been moved, but have clung to the hope of his coming. Rejoice in him, for it is in him that your joy shall be full, and every need will be met. Look to him, and do not look to the right or to the left." The nations shall mourn at his coming. They shall be humbled and brought low under the mighty hand of God. They shall be sorry for their sin and turn to God. Every knee shall bow before the King of kings and Lord of lords. This is the trampling of the nations. For everything that exalts itself shall be brought low, and all flesh shall worship at the Lord's feet. I am come that they might have life, and this is life, that they might know me and the power of my resurrection, that they may be brought out of death and into the life of the Son of God who shed his blood for them. There is no other. I am the one they must seek, for I hold the key, and I alone can unlock the prison doors, and set them free. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Let those who would follow me deny themselves and pick up their cross. Let them lift up the banner of my love and carry it forth into their communities. Let them boldly proclaim the coming of the Lord, for the time is short and the day and hour of my coming is at hand, says the Lord. Do not fear, and do not draw back, for in this hour I am raising up an army to go forth, proclaiming my glory to the nations. Do not withdraw from the work I have set before you. 
but with a steady pace, continue in the way I have shown you. Continue to trust in me and hold on to the word of life that has been released in this hour. For no other generation have I visited in the way I am visiting this generation. I am making my presence known among the nations, and this generation shall know me like no other generation. For in this generation the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord. This is the day, and this is the hour, when kings and princes shall submit to my rule. Awake, my people, from your slumber. Rise up in this hour, and Christ shall shine upon you. Shake off apathy and indignation. Arise from the dead, the deadness of your heart. Let go of the grave clothes that have kept you bound. Shake yourself free, for I will give life to your mortal body, and you shall rise up and go forth in the power and anointing of my spirit, says the Lord. There is a call going forth. It is a wake-up call. As the sound goes forth, the graves are opening, and the dead are being raised to life. These have slumbered, and their spirits have been in prison. But in this day, the prison doors shall be thrust open, and the grave clothes shall be pulled off, and my people shall be loosed, and they shall go forth in the commission upon their lives to go into the world and preach the gospel to every man, woman, and child. Get ready, my children, for eye has not seen nor has ear heard of those things which I am about to let loose in the earth. I am about to open heaven's doors, and multitudes will be raised from death and brought into the life of the Son and enter through these doors into everlasting life. Multitudes are about to be raised up by the power of my spirit and put into positions of authority in the kingdom of God, for these places have been reserved for them since the beginning of time, and in this hour these shall take their place to reign and rule in the power and authority of the Lord." Many have come in my name and deceived many, but in this hour the deceiver shall be exposed, and those who have put their hope in him will recognize him for who he is and shall flee. Their eyes shall be opened, and they shall see clearly, for the veil of flesh shall be cut away from their hearts, and they shall come into understanding of the times. These things have been locked up, but in this day they are being revealed to those who have sought the Lord with all their heart, for they shall find God and escape the tribulation that is coming upon the earth. For in the hour to come, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall be turned to blood. Signs in the heavens and on the earth shall usher in the coming of the Lord in vengeance. This word today is another word that reminds us to keep our eyes on the Lord, to keep our mind on things above and not be attached to the world, to keep us focused on the calling upon our lives, that we would continue to spread the gospel message while there is still time. The Lord is encouraging us to wake up and understand the times we are living in. These are the times of the end, just prior to his return. And he is encouraging us to shake off our complacency, our apathy, to rise up in the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit. He is telling us that we have slumbered, 
and need this wake-up call. This is a generation like no other generation. The Lord is revealing himself in this generation in a way he has not revealed himself before. We are being moved into the resurrection power of Christ, taken out of our complacency, out of deadness, and in to life. This is the message today. The Lord wants to open our eyes to the times we are living in so that we may escape the times of tribulation that are soon to come upon the earth. May we all tune our ears to hear and see the signs of the Lord's coming. Let's set our heart on things above and not on things in the world. Let's be ready to hear the wake-up call. I hope this word today will encourage your heart. Be blessed of the Lord. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to all of you in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.